Hi, I'm Nick Cole Sports Massage and in this video today I'm going to talk about the massage techniques, soft tissue release and myofascial release for the quad muscles, in particular the rectus femoris. Rectus femoris is attached to the top of a patella on your knee and the ASIS which is on your hip flex, what we call the hip flexors. So if it's tight it can pull on your knee and give you knee pain but it can also pull your hips forward giving you lower back pain. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel. So let's start off, this is the rectus femoris going from the top of the knee, the patella, all the way up here and if this is tight, there's ways to test this is tight, if this is tight that's in another video. But techniques Going to loosen it off, nice, nicely warm up the muscles so we can work with them. So a bit of effluage, just moving the muscles, warming them up. Go make sure you've got good posture so I'm not leaning over hurting my own back. Then we'll go into a bit of petrissage. Well, rolling my hands, warming the muscle up like so. And this is loosening up the muscle, getting blood flow into the area, stretching the muscle. I'm going to use my hands, using the heel of my hand, be careful because this can be quite hard and cause quite a bit of pain without applying much pressure. Then you can also use the back of your hands, just pushing through like so, just stripping the muscle. So I can feel a lot of tension around here in the vastus lateralis. So again, keeping my posture, just going to warm this muscle up, get nice and warm, lots of blood flow, get nice and loose. So what I can do now to protect my hands, get a tiny bit more pressure, is just apply the forearm. So I'm looking at my client's face at this point just to see if he's wincing, because we don't want too much pain. Ideally, about a three or a four on a pain level 10 at this point. Anything more is just gonna tense up. Now I can already feel that there's some tight spots around here, some knots, and if I press his face just gives a little twist. So it's just warming through with my forearm. And what I can do when I find a tight spot just above the knee, I can just apply a bit of pressure. So let me know when there's a tight spot. Yep. Yeah, there. So I'm just going to apply a bit of pressure. What number are we, are we on? About a four. About a four. So that's good. If we were trigger pointing, we'd go to a seven. But four is quite good for what we're doing here. I'm just going to apply some pressure for about 20 seconds or so. Now I'm just going to move up through, warm the body again, and then move up a little bit further. Yeah, yeah. I've seen his face screw up, so I know that he's, I've hit a spot. I'm going to apply the pressure. So what number are we on there? About four or five? Four, yeah. That's good. So I'm just keeping it low, like I say, if I was trigger pointing, I'd go to a seven, but that's not the stage I'm at at the moment. I'm going to just roll him through. And we go right up to the insertion point as well, up the top. Just to make sure that we're getting blood flow and loosen off the whole, mus the whole muscle. Now around the muscle, if you imagine the muscle is all like gangly spaghetti and over the top of that is a thin layer of skin called fascia. 
or soft tissue. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to do a technique where we can just release the soft tissue. And how you do that, you'll shorten the muscle. So keeping the legs straight is shortening the muscle, but then to lengthen the muscle, as I bend the knee, I'm lengthening the muscle through. And what I can do, I'm gonna pin the fascia still with the muscle short, and then stretch the muscle whilst pinning the fascia. How's that? Yeah, good. I'm gonna go up a little bit higher, pin the fascia, and again, stretch the muscle. So he's quite tight on his quads. I'm just gonna keep doing this. And what this will do is release the soft tissue from the muscle, giving better range of motion, better freedom of movement, better performance of the muscle, better blood, blood flow. So I'll go all the way up, just doing that. And then we'll go to a mild fascia release. Where I do the same sort of thing, but on the stretch, I then push with my body all the way up, releasing the fascia. And then stretch it through. And just keep doing that all the way up. Now I can just play about. Massaging the muscle, give it some little stretches. Now something we can also do called muscle energy techniques, where we can, I can physically stretch the muscle. I will put some pressure on the muscle for 10 seconds and then I'll get the client to push against my hand at 30% pressure for another 10 seconds. And we'll do that about four, three or four times. So I'm gonna stretch the muscle now, Harry. Is that an okay stretch? Yep. What I want you to do now, 10 seconds of 30% against me. So what this is doing is getting blood flow into the area. It's waking up the muscles and release there. And as he releases, I can stretch the muscle a little bit further. 30% against. That's good. And release. And we would do that for about four or five times, just to loosen the muscle. And I can already see that his leg is dangling down nice and loose, where at first it was up here because his rec fin was nice and tight, and now it's nice and loose. And that's how you massage soft tissue release and my fascia release the rec fem on the quad. Then you go and do the other leg. Please like and subscribe to my channel.